Plaza Libertad, uh, downtown Iloilo. These were uh, the first Philippine flag was raised during the Spanish Revolution of 1898. So this is a significant place in the Iloilo region. Plaza Libertad is a historic park located in the heart of Iloilo City proper. Surrounded by the city's famous landmarks, including the San Jose Church, Iloilo City Hall, the Masonic Temple, and the Laxon Clan Ancestral House. Formerly called Plaza Alfonso XII, Plaza Libertad has been witness to several important events, both for Iloilo and the country. One of these is the well-known surrender of Governor General Diego de los Rios to the Filipino Revolutionary Troops of General Martin Delgado on Christmas Day, 1898, thus ending a 333-year-old Spanish colonization of the Philippines. The history of the plaza was well documented on Reverend Father Policarpio Hernandez's Iloilo, the most noble city. It was said that the plaza existed together with the Church of San Jose as a well-kept garden maintained by the local elite and authorities in the 1870s. But as the Ayuntamiento of Iloilo took over the plaza in the early 1890s, wild vegetation covered the plaza and made it impassable and dirty. As years passed by, with bad planning, inadequate funding, and sheer negligence, it was the site of shame for the city. But by 1896, the provincial governor, Don Ricardo Monet, passionately worked for its beautification. On August 13, 1896, Plaza Alfonso XII was inaugurated with trees, gardens, and pathways. It was a beautiful sight at the center of the city, like an English garden suddenly popping up in the tropics. Every Thursday afternoon after its inauguration, the Banda Municipal played classical music in the plaza to entertain the people. It is also inseparable to the plaza that day in 1897 when Ilongos enthusiastically sent the Ilongo volunteers to Manila to help the Spanish quell the Philippine Revolution. This event includes a parade and review of the arms, which was attended in full force by the Ilongo elite and local Spanish authorities. These companies of troops, though fighting the revolutionaries under General Aguinaldo, demonstrated gallantry and admiration. This patriotism to the mother country prompted Queen Maria Cristina to bestow to Iloilo City the perpetual title La Muy Noble Ciudad in March 1898. The plaza is also the site of the first raising of the Philippine flag in Panay Island on December 25, 1898. After the Spaniards surrendered to the local revolutionaries led by General Martin Delgado. In recent history, Plaza Libertad is also the site of the first and simple Dinagyang Festival in 1968 in honor of the arrival of the replica of the Santo Nino de Cebu, which was a gift from Cebu. The replica brought by Father Sulpicio and Deres was received with gala and celebrations from the old Iloilo airport down to the city streets. Today, Plaza Libertad is still the center of Iloilo City, along with the Church of San Jose Placer. The Church of San Jose rose to prominence when Iloilo was proclaimed as Ayuntamiento, the Spanish equivalent of a city, as it became part of elite Ilongos and local Spaniards' daily routines. The site of the present church may also be the place of the first church constructed in Iloilo City. It was erected by the Jesuits in 1607 to serve the needs of the military station at Punta de Iloilo, or present-day Iloilo City. However, on April 29, 1617, the Augustinians established San Jose, a house of the order. The current church was constructed around 1873 
when the newly named friar Father Mauricio Blanco took over the Agostinian house. The two-story church was completed with two towers built with a clock and a barometer. A nearby convent was also built at that time. Renaissance in design, the San Jose church is simple but ornated, with Hellenic influence, with Corinthian pillars supporting the central nave. The main altar has Gothic characteristics with its emphasis on height and the use of biblical scenes in its ornamentation. One of the precious treasures of the church is the image of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. According to historians, the image was found by Diego Quinones, the commander-in-chief of the Visayas. During the struggle against the Dutch in 1616, Quinones fell in a hole and found the box, when opened contained the image. Two Agostinians, Father Jeronimo Alvarado and Father Juan de Morales, the troops' chaplains then organized a procession and took the image at Fort San Pedro. Devotion to the image led to the establishment of a confradia, or confraternity, to the Virgin. During World War II, the church was saved from being bombed by the Americans after they received information that the Japanese were not held in the church as they were previously informed. Another image of importance is the replica of the original Santo Nino of Cebu, which was brought to the church as a gift in 1968. The celebration of the Santo Nino's arrival became what we today call the annual Dinagyang Festival. The image can still be viewed at the right wing of the church. In addition, a relic of the true cross is encased on the marble where the image sits. Between 1980 to 82, the church was renovated. A new marble floor was laid under the direction of poet writer Father Gilbert Centina. The Church of San Jose and Plaza Libertad still graces the loyal city with its proud heritage and culture. So that's it for their history. Until next time, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Bye! So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. And feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell. Come on guys, hit the bell. For notifications. And don't forget to share. And like.